Worker has finally stepped into the short dart, small form factor mag game. It's about time. These are the Talon mags. I am really excited to be able to talk through them with you today. And uh, I'm kind of regretting being this far back, my injured back, and this is a bad decision. Don't worry, Jay, I got this. Your Talon mag is new from Worker. It holds 15 darts. It has a forward shifted mag adapter, and there is no mag release, you just pull it. Also, it does not work in katana breaches or with katanas, and it does work in omni breaches and worker breaches and brass breaches and caliber breaches, and they're available now I, I, at no, Full Blood no, Shop. No, give me that. <laughs> this is not going to be an ad for any companies in the community, okay? But Full Blood. In all seriousness, thank you to Foam Blast for providing me with a couple of these to test out. Uh, I ended up picking up actually enough to run a full loadout in games, and that's exactly what I did over the weekend at our local Sang Nerf game. And I ran these in a couple different blasters and had a fair amount of success. I, I like the way they feel overall. There are some things that I really wish would be different, wish would be changed or altered or, or some things here and there. And there are some things you need to be aware of. While they do work in most breaches and most magwells, uh, like you can just drop it in, which is really, really nice, uh, you are going to need a specific pusher, obviously. Unfortunately, in its current form, the uh, uh, Double Z pusher does not work. It's a little too long, but I'm hoping he will alter it uh, so you can maintain your dual dart length uh, usability, which I really, really love about that pusher. So that's one of those things that we need to uh, keep in mind when it comes to these magazines is that not everything is ready or perfect to use with them as of yet. Now, I'm sure it won't be long. I think Captain Slug has already altered one of his magwell designs to take not only the Talon mags, but also Katana mags, which is... Nice, that's awesome. Uh, one of my major gripes is that these don't work with katana magwells or things like that. They are not cross compatible, which to me is a bummer because I invested in the katana mag system. So now I have to invest in another mag system to use these. So it's something that I'm bummed about. Uh, I understand some of the reasoning why, and there are some pluses to it, but there's also some minuses to it. Now. These are not um, dual-sided like the Katana mags. You can't load them in either direction. One side does have a slight taper to it. Uh, so that is your front, and that is the only way it will go in. It will not go in backwards. So that is a bummer, uh, just as... You can look at it either way, actually. It's a bummer in that... It's not as easy to just grab one and mindlessly load, but the upside is that you can't load the mag in the wrong way. So you're not gonna run into any issues where you just grab a mag without looking and happen to load it in backwards. Now it's not gonna stop you from putting darts in backwards, but if you do that, that's your own fault, which I admit I did do once over the weekend. So it's, nobody's perfect. Uh, something else that I am not a fan of with these that I did like with the katana mags is that with the katana mags you can actually snip the portion of the follower here so that when you are out of darts you can't actually uh, close your breech completely and dry fire it prevents you from doing that which I really really like and would like to see on these now it is something that a 3d printed part could solve so it's not unfixable, it is something that can be done through a 3D printed part, which is a plus. So that's something I may do uh, in the future for these because I really, really liked that functionality for things like high powered springers. So keep that in mind. Now, the big thing that you'll notice is there's no mag release. It's a purely like detent held in fit. And my main concern was that it was not going to hold, but it seems to hold relatively well so far. Uh, I did, however, have an issue with the Sentinel. And if I grab the Sentinel here, and we'll go ahead and pop this in, it doesn't fit all the way. If I push the mag, or the, the mag adapter in, the mag itself will not go in all the way, and it will, 
fall out uh, with minimal effort. Now, once you close the breech, you're totally fine. Then it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, also worth noting is that this is a custom breech from Aldos, so it may not be the case for everyone else with theirs. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a stock Sentinel to try it out, but that's something to consider. And that is something we should be aware of, that these may not work natively with every single magwell. So we're going to have to test as a community and see which ones do and don't work, which while it may be a bit of a hassle at times, as long as we know that like the main most popular platforms function, then we're fine. Things like the long shot work, things like the strife work, things like uh, the calibern work, though the calibern, uh, it's a bit tight in the magwell I have. It's an older version of the magwell. I know Captain Slug said there was an issue with the uh, new takedown magwell in its current form um, that requires some shaving or something like that on one of the parts to get it to fit properly, but he is altering the files so newer models or if people want to reprint something, they can do that and it will accommodate the Talon Mag adapter. So that's something that is a plus, again, of 3D printed platforms that you can replace single pieces of that you can adapt to things like this. Another thing I like about these is the build quality. It's worker build quality. Uh, they always know how to do the right kind of things with plastic products to make them feel good in hand and feel sturdy. And these feel sturdy. These feel like I can just beat on them and they will just keep trucking. And that is a major, major plus for a lot of things that we use in this hobby, specifically magazines. Um, now, they are also going to be retailing, I want to say, uh, somewhere in like $9 range per mag and like 3 or $4 per adapter, I think. It may vary depending on vendor. Don't hold me to that. I know these are available from Foam Blast right now. I know they are uh, I believe they're going to be available from Out of Darts as well. They are available from Blaster Tech and, of course, your resellers like NF Strike and Lie Take, though uh, I don't know when you will get them. I know who has them in stock now and who has them shipping already. Uh, I should note that they do come in multiple colors. They come in the blue transparent, come in clear, and they come in black transparent. Uh, this was actually sent, me to my, sent to me by NF Strike. I was not expecting it or anticipating it or asked for it, but they sent it to me, so thank you. Uh, it's cool to have more adapters and more magazines. Uh, regardless, I want to let you know about that, but overall, I like these, but they're not perfect. They're definitely not perfect. Uh, I'm waiting for the community to shore up some of the issues with them and make them a better product overall. And things to look for in that regard are the things that, like, Captain Slug is doing with his wildcard mag adapter, um, which I believe is going to be suitable for both katana mags and talon mags, which is huge. Absolutely huge. Um, I'm going to need to get mag holders for these. Uh, hopefully people will be designing mag holders for talon mags soon. I love my reciprocation props. Uh, back-mounted mag holder for katana mags. Now I need one for talon mags. So things to consider and the fact that this doesn't have a mag release it kind of bothers me but at the same time I'm kind of okay with it because of the way I reload as opposed to the way other people reload. Um, I've never been a fan of the the katana style reload where you take the mag and hit the mag release, it's slow, it's clunky, it's it's not ideal in my opinion. I much prefer just grabbing my second mag and swapping out quickly and precisely. That's my preference. And that allows you to do this with this system. Uh, but I do like having the option to be able to just hit the mag release and have the mag drop out, uh, depending on what the situation warrants. I'd like you know I like options. I like options and versatility and flexibility. And uh, when you limit something, you remove some of those options. So that's my personal stance on that. Regardless, overall, I like them. I think they're a good addition to the community. Um, it's another option for us, which as I just said, I like options. It is a bummer that you will not natively be able to swap between katana mags and talon mags if you've invested in one. Uh, hopefully the wildcard adapter that Captain Slug is working on will work for a lot of different things and 
we will be able to use both platforms interchangeably. That would be great. Uh, regardless, thank you again to Phone Blast for getting these in my hand the day of a game so I could test them uh, and have fun using them. So I'm sure I've interspersed some footage throughout this video of me using these. Hopefully I was able to do that. But regardless, let me know your thoughts on these, on Short Dart magazines, and all the variety of options we have now. And if you're going to pick some up or, or if you are going to be waiting. So leave those comments down below. I love hearing from all of you. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.